certainly in the Indian Point case, but in other cases. When we so wrote, we, we were not intending in our comments to speak really to this off-site uh, aspect. Yeah, but but with all due respect, when when we wrote you a when we wrote um, the NRC a letter in January. Um, expressing concern about the wet report in one paragraph uh, from the, com the chairman of the NRC he says while we appreciate and recognize the effort that went into the draft report we believe the draft report appears to give undue weight to the impact of potential acts of terrorism on emergency planning and preparedness and further down it says necessary protective actions and off-site response are not predicated off-site response are not predicated on the cause of events whether releases from the plan occur as a result of a terrorist attacks or equipment malfunction, emergency plans guide decision makers and responders in the same way. I just think that's blatantly untrue. That comment is based on uh, the fact that uh, no accident is going to follow a script. And so emergency plans have to be broad and flexible. They have to be designed to deal with uh, a whole spectrum of things that can occur. Uh, it's a performance-based uh, approach, I, I, I and, you're and, and so our with so that that comment is irrelevant. In, in very much based on what we know has been done to secure the plants. Mr. Miller, do you believe it is relevant to say that a terrorist attack has no other, no different consequence than any other type of attack? Do you think that that implication makes sense to you? I think with respect to the plant itself, the thing that we're talking about, which is the potential for uh, disruption of the reactor and the reactor core, cooling of the core, release of radioactivity, our approach in emergency preparedness has always been to be aggressive uh, in the way emergency planning is done. So we have always required uh, there be large releases of radioactivity that developed uh, you know, within a short time. And the, the, the plans have always been geared towards large releases. Yeah, yeah. So in that sense, we, we believe that it doesn't make a difference um, as far as what happens on site. You know, I, I think the, the better answer would have been that there obviously is a difference. And um, we're looking at it. And to say anything other than that, scares out of me because you guys are in charge and I, we've had four years of hearings about what terrorists can do and how they can do it and um, frankly it, it, it defies my sense of logic your answer I, I realize your chairman said it and I'm putting you in an awkward circumstance but I, I would have loved something well that... may I say mr. chairman I and I've been in numerous meetings since we issued that letter and what I sense is that people understand the NRC to be downplaying somehow the, I just, the, 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 the downplaying the effects of terrorism or the potential for terrorism. And in fact, no, it's in, not in, just the potential, but that the, a, a terrorist attack has a different impact. It it can can result in things that we never anticipated before. And uh, for instance, even your reference to hardened sites. What is a hardened site? What is in that hardened site that well, is protected? What we're referring to is, first of all, the containment structure itself. I mean, these right. are structures that have to be designed to withstand very significant uh, external uh, right. impacts, uh, you know, hurricanes, uh, tornadoes, if you will. Uh, right, but what is in that site? It's, the, it's, it's basically the, the nuclear operation Right. Uh, the, the fuel itself and so on. But it is a fact, terrorists know this, that the operations aren't necessarily, the control panels aren't necessarily inside. The, this, the ability to, to uh, uh, your command structure is not necessarily in a hardened site throughout the country. Isn't that true? Well, Mr. Chairman, this is why our requirements have always been for the plants to be defended against off, violent first attacks, off, first and off, that's all been strengthened first since off, the... First off, I just need an answer to the question, and then you can tell me all the other things. The implication that somehow the control panels and so on would be in hardened sites is not accurate. Is that true? They aren't under hardened sites. Is that 
correct. They're not hardened uh, in the sense that they're specifically designed for, you know, airplane crashes and, and, and the like. Thank you. But having